Hello everyone. Welcome back to this online class. Today we are going to look at uh, Perfian differential equations and uh, we are going to solve the equation yz dx plus x squared y minus xz dy plus x squared z minus xy dz is equals to zero. Before we solve it, we need to show that the equation is integrable. By integrable, we mean it has a solution. We need to show that it has a solution. And then once we have shown that, we need to find the general solution. So this equation can also be called total differential equation. So to test whether this equation has a solution, this is what you're going to do. Of course, the condition is that uh, x, we need to test whether x dot cal x is equals to zero. So we are saying let, let x be equal to, remember it's always equals to pi plus q j plus r k. That is where, when you have the equation, in general, a Fafian differential equation in three variables takes the form p dx plus q dy plus r dz is equals to zero. So we let x be equal to pi plus qj plus r k, that vector, where our p is yz. So this means x is equals to y z i q is x squared y minus x z so that is q j is j here is a minus then uh, the other one is uh, r which is x squared z minus x y and this is now k so let, let's find cal x, cal of x. Remember the cal operator. So you can write cal x. I want you to take note of the cal operator. Not the cal operator, but the del operator. Del operator. del is a vector so i partial partial x plus j partial partial y plus k partial partial z so when we talk of cal x it's simply the cross product is the same as the cross product of the del operator and the vector x let me use a different color for that to mean the cross product. So I'm going to use black. Del cross X. That is what you mean by cal X, where del is defined as I partial partial X plus J partial partial Y plus K partial partial Z. So when we cross the two, we write this in terms of determinant. So it will be determinant of, here we have i, then we have j, then k. Followed by the components of the del operator, that is partial, partial x, partial, partial y, partial with respect to z. Then followed by the components of x, the, here we have y, z, here we have x squared y minus xz. And lastly, we have x squared z minus xy. So we need to find that determinant. These are three by three matrix. I'll write here plus. Here we write minus. Then followed by another plus. They alternate from positive to negative because I want to evaluate determinant along the first row. 
So that's why I'm assigning those signs, positive, negative, positive in that order along the first row. So we are going to reduce the det this determinant to the determinant of two by two matrices. And that method is called the Laplace method. So when we reduce it, we are going to get this. We start with positive i. Now you delete the row and the column containing i, then you write what you remain with. So after deleting, we are going to remain with the partial, partial y. Here we have x squared y minus xz, then uh, here we'll have now partial, partial z, and then here we have x squared z minus x, y. So that's at positive y, then we go to negative j, do the same, delete the row and the column containing j, so we'll have partial, partial x, here we'll have yz, then uh, followed by partial, partial z, here we have x squared z minus x y. And lastly, we have positive k. When we delete the row and the column containing k, we'll have partial partial x uh, y z. Then uh, followed by partial partial y. And here we have x squared y minus x z. So we have managed to reduce that determinant of a three by three matrix to determinant of two by two matrices. So we start by multiplying the leading diagonal, subtract the other product, do the same here. And lastly, in the third term. So uh, let's work it out. Here we have positive i, which we can just write as i. Remember when you are operating with the, because when you write partial partial y, these are an operator. An operator must come before the function that it operates on. So in the first determinant, is the same as you are differentiating this function, the one I've bracketed, partially with respect to y. You assume that x and z are constant. And so when you differentiate with respect to y, we're going to get negative x. Then minus. Now let's differentiate because now this one, you differentiate partially with respect to z, uh, that will give us negative x. Then we have minus j, do the same, differentiate this with respect to x partially, that will give us 2xz minus y, then subtract. Now differentiate this one with respect to z, that will give us y plus we have k, differentiate this, the one I've bracketed with respect to x, that will give us 2xy minus z, then minus, differentiate now yz with respect to y, that will give us z. If I simplify this one, I can as well write this as, remember, this is now 0i, because I plus under a minus and a minus will give us a plus. That's why it is zero. What about here? We love two uh, xz minus two y, and there's another negative. So this you can write as positive two y minus two x z j. I have taken the negative inside, and that's why we have that. Then we have positive. I can see we have. 2xy minus 2z, and this is k. So this is curl x. Curl x is a vector quantity, as you can see. Now we need x dot curl x. So we need to dot the two. So now x dot curl x, what will we get? Uh, let me write. I will write x dot curl x. This will give us, let's write the vectors in column form. This will give us our x was uh, this one. Was it x, y? Let me check. 
our x was y z that's the, the p capital so i'll wrap this it was y z the first component then the other component uh, was uh, x squared y minus x z x squared y minus x z and the third component is x squared z minus x y so this one you need to dot it is a, a vector in column form you need to dot it with the, with the curl x which we got zero as the first component we got two y minus two xz as the second component and finally 2xy minus 2z as the third component when dotting just multiply the corresponding components and then add the results together so yz times zero that will give us zero plus let's multiply the others plus x squared y minus xz multiplying 2y minus uh, 2xz then we are again adding to x squared z minus xy this should multiply 2xy minus 2z so let's open the bracket on uh, the right hand side what are we going to get this should now give us zero plus two x squared y squared minus two x cubed y z minus two x y z and then plus two x squared z squared this is this product then the other one, the last term, when you multiply, you're going to get uh, 2x cubed yz, then minus 2x squared z squared, and then minus uh, 2x squared y squared, and finally it will now be a plus uh 2xyz so now let's see are there some terms that you cancel out 2x squared y squared i can see there's the negative 2x squared y squared so those will cancel out negative 2x cubed yz positive 2x cubed yz will cancel out uh, let me pick another color i can pick uh, green green so you can see negative 2xyz and positive two xyz another color let me pick uh, yellow so two x squared z squared will cancel with this negative and so everything has cancelled out uh, on the right hand side so that uh, we get our answer to be equal to zero so because x dot cal x is equals to zero that means the equation is integrable the given equation is integrable by integrable we mean it has a solution it means you can solve and find the general solution so that is part a part b let, let's solve it remember there are five methods of solving of the differential equations the methods are if you have an equation with a variable separable you simply integrate directly to get the general solution another method is one variable separable and the third method is method of regrouping the fourth one is when you have a homogeneous ODE there's a way you need to solve it and another method the fifth one is using Natani's method Natani's method will apply to all forms of Fafian differential equation. Homogeneous, there must be a condition that it, the equation has to satisfy for it to be homogeneous. 
clearly if you look at our equation it is not homogeneous this equation is not separable and also we can see that and there's no one variable that is separable so we are only left with two methods of solution you can use regrouping method or you can use Natani's method. For this case, I want us to look at how to regroup it. You can also try using Natani's method later. But let's see how can we regroup that equation. So we are going to use regrouping method or the method of regrouping. So I can write here <coughs> using regrouping. method so when you want to regroup you have to get rid of all the brackets expand the entire equation so that our equation will now look like this yz dx uh, plus x squared y x squared y dy i'm opening the brackets minus xz dy plus x squared z dz minus xy dz, this will give us zero. So I, I want to combine this and this one because I can see x squared is common. And also this and this will form another group. So this equation can as well be written as or yz dx plus x squared outside into y dy plus z dz one group another group the ones i have ticked you see negative x is common so negative x is common into z dy plus y dz that should give us zero But if you look at this one, it is gotten from product rule, the derivative of y times z. So this can be written as or y z dx plus x squared y dy plus z dz minus x times derivative of y times z is equals to zero. Now look at this other term. This is already separable. So you need to get rid of the x squared from here. It means I have to divide my entire equation by x squared. So this can now be written as yz over x squared dx plus y dy plus z dz minus x dyz divided by x squared. And finally, it's not easy to integrate the way it is. Let me regroup this one. This and this one should form another group. Remember, it was equals to zero. I've left out zero, so this equals to zero. So let me regroup those other two. When I group them, I'm going to get this. So you can write or y dy plus z dz, then minus x dy, that should be in brackets, x d derivative of y times z so i should put a bracket there x derivative of y z over x squared then we are adding to y z dx over x squared you see we can uh put that 
and a common denominator. This is supposed to be equal to zero. And so this can be written as or y dy plus z dz minus x dyz minus yz dx everything over x squared. I am doing this because I want to rewrite this, whatever we have in the bracket, as another differential. So look at this in bracket. Take note of the uh, quotient rule. Remember quotient rule, take note, that uh, when you differentiate u over v, this should give you v constant differentiate u, minus u constant differentiate v, everything over v squared. So when you compare the quotient tool with what we have in the bracket here, the one that I've ticked, you realize that our v, if you do the comparison, our v is equals to x because the denominator is v squared, x squared. So v is x. What about u? If you do the comparison, you realize that our u is y, z. So it's the same as derivative of y, z over x. So this equation can now be written as or y dy plus z dz minus derivative of y, z over x. That should be able to give us zero. <coughs> So now we can now integrate this equation, integrate this, integrate this other one, integrate this, each term to get y squared over two plus z squared over two minus yz over x, should be able to give us a constant of integration, call it c over two, so that we can get rid of the twos in the denominators. When I multiply this equation by two, I'm going to get this, y squared plus z squared minus two yz over x, is equals to a constant c. So this is our general solution. We have used the method of regrouping. You see how it is very simple. Uh, you could also use Natani's method. Try the same using Natani's method. Uh, check whether you are going to get the same answer. So when we meet next time, we will look at uh, uh, other problems in partial differential equations. I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Professor Francis Okech. If you go to the YouTube search, type Prof Francis Okech, you'll find me right there. Subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Bye-bye.